What's up guys, this is Sim with Vengeance and I'm back here with another Madden NFL 19 Seattle Seahawks franchise and today your 1-1 one one Seattle Seahawks are on their first home game of the year taking on the 2-0 Dallas Cowboys and if you guys are excited for today's video make sure you guys drop a like if you're new to the channel at all hit that subscribe button down below you may see that I'm on the left side of your screen this time instead of the right side well I wanted to try something different I I was getting a couple of suggestions, and I was like, you know, we'll give this a shot and see how it looks. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Um, if you prefer me, I, well, I mean, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. It's still content, but, <clears throat> um, well, it, my placement on the screen does matter. Uh, I just don't know how by how much. But let's get on with this. We're available to scout players. Let's do some auto-generating rookies. Because we're not going to be looking at the, uh, we're not looking at anything crazy here. Um, yeah, we already know how to scout players. We've done this before. Okay, so we got a, there's a first round draft quarterback here that we just somehow wasted our talents on. Our, our scouting points on what I guess it doesn't matter but let's look at our team needs here we do need to look at offensive line uh, more specifically in the guards so let's see what we can get in the first round for this guy uh, he's probably gonna be something that we look at here um, let's take a look at right guard or actually right tackle um, total scheme fit so let's see yep first round draft pick um, let's look at right guard. First round draft pick. Um, defensively, let's look at defensive tackle. This guy's a bust. And a first round draft pick. So we got a few first rounders out of it. Um, we don't need a quarterback per se, so... Not really looking at this guy, uh, Riley Drape, Draper, at all. Kind of looking at offensive lineman, as you can see, right behind my head. We're not looking in that area at all. You can take a look at the grading system here. Um, you can see that you know strong safety is also not one of our strong points. Uh, free safety, we're fine. Obviously, we have Earl Thomas. We have middle linebacker, just fine. Uh, we may have to look at a punter, but I'm not going to look at one. Oh, look at this guy from UAB, Charles Metcalf. A UAB. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I don't live in Alabama. I live in Iowa, but my UAB dynasty, I've become a, kind of a UAB Blazers fan, like just because. It's it's weird how things work like that. I I just I've become a fan of that team. It's hilarious. Um. So let's take a look at other things. Um, big time decisions for Earl Thomas. I know he wants to get paid the big bucks. He did return to the Seahawks too, so that gives us more of a reason to sign him. Uh, KJ Wright, Tyler Lockett, uh, Frank Clark, Sebastian Janikowski. Uh, we don't even know if he's going to be around for next year. So I don't want to like... Let's start negotiations on Earl Thomas. He wants, he wants 36 and a half. He just wants under 10 mil under four years, for four years. Um, so let's see what he say. Let's see what he says. The rest of it needs work. Boy, <laughs> this is what you, proposed contract. I like KJ Wright. He's going to stay. Cool. If Earl Thomas doesn't stay, though, I'm not going to lose it. I, like We know, we all know in real life he's going to be in Seattle, out of Seattle by next year, so, so it does not bother me at all. Um, so let's take a look here at the NFL standings. As we are into week number three, the Ravens are still undefeated. Um, so the the Steelers and Bengals 
one and one apiece. The Browns 0 and 2. They still have yet to get that free beer. Let's go to the Jaguars. They're 2 and 0. The Texans 1 and 1. Titans and Colts 0 and 2 apiece. The Dolphins are 2 and 0. Interesting. Uh, the Patriots are 0, 1 and 1, only averaging 14 in points per game and only giving up 15 points a game. That's interesting. Very low scoring affairs. Bills are 1 and 1. Jets are 0 and 2. AFC West, the Raiders are 2 and 0. The Chargers, Chiefs, and Broncos all 1 and 1. And now we go to the NFC North where the Packers are 2 and 0. The Lions are 2 and 0. Interesting. Uh, the Packers giving up less than 10 points a game. <clears throat> and the Vikings 1 and 1. Bears 0 and 2. They're scoring like a field goal a game. It's crazy. But we gave up their first and only touchdown of the season. Saints 2 and 0. Falcons 1 and 1. Buccaneers 0 and 2. Panthers 0 and 2. Uh, Cowboys and Eagles 2 and 0. Uh, <clears throat> the Redskins 1 and 0 and 1. I hate that, but whatever. This is why I hate. Uh, ties need to be abolished from the NFL because I think it's stupid. Uh, ta- uh, Giants 0 and 2. NFC West. Cardinals again. Abolish the dang tie and we're good. Uh, we're 1 and 1. The Rams 0 and 2. And the Niners 0 and 2. So we're not like. We have a chance. We're, like, we're doing pretty good so far for our division. So. Um. We got a good game against the Cowboys today, though. We got our hands full. I will see you guys on the field. It should be a good one. And we are underway here from Seattle as we're throwing them back once again for their uniforms. I love the throwbacks, man. I do. And we're going to be taken down at the 18-yard line. Russell Wilson coming down on the field. Let's see what his stats look like now. Um, He has two touchdowns, three interceptions. Um... Hopefully no turnovers today. I know we've thrown an interception every game so far this year. Only two games, but still, we kind of need to improve. Go right up the middle. Follow your blockers. There you go. Good run. Good run. That was beautiful. There we go. Take a first down right there from Russell Wilson. Had a little bit of a sliver to go through, but I got it. So that's all that matters, right? Come on, Seahawks. <clears throat> there it is. First down, baby. Give me that. Another nice throw by Russell Wilson. Oh, they're sending the blitz. Oh, right there. Beautiful. Inside the 20 down to the 16-yard line. Oh, I love that play. He was wide open. Follow your blockers, baby. Get in there. Get in there. There you go. Nice play. First and goal. Shoot. Thank God Russell can run. And he's in the score. Touchdown. Whew. And, oh, he did a dab. Oh. He dabbed on him. He dabbed on him. Here comes Dak Prescott. Let's see his stats for the year. Uh, 37 for 53. Four to, 405 yards. Four touchdowns. No interceptions. Kind of what I expected out of Dak Prescott. He's a good quarterback. Believe it or not. Say is that the only way we're going to beat these Cowboys is if we can stop Ezekiel Elliott. If we can't stop Zeke, then it's going to be a bad day. And they just ran play action like it was nothing on us. They know how dangerous Ezekiel Elliott is. You take him out of the offense, Dak Prescott is not as effective. Zeke needs to be there. Oh, good catch. Who is that? Oh. I mean, <laughs> Alan Hurt. I had the hand in there. I I, I thought I could get it. ready. They're going to feed Zeke. Okay. Oh, that was a smart play call. They they 
they know I'm afraid of Zeke. That's that's good. That 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 makes me. They're going to pretty much go five downfield again, third and long. Oh, it's almost intercepted. Oh, holding Dallas to a field goal. Oh, it's blocked. Oh, I missed it. Oh, man, I had the angle. Offensive line is playing better. Oh, there we go. Got running room. Russell Wilson deep downfield. Big, big gain. All the way down to the Dallas 42. Nice. Just move forward past the line. There. Give me that first. That's all I need, man. I don't need some intricate play call on third and inches. Oh, oh, come on. No protection. Of course I'm going down first. Good kick by Janikowski. It's way up there, and it's way good. 10-3. Okay, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, dude. That's that's incredible. Wow. I was just trying to make sure I could get the edge, but I, I ran out of juice, I think. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean by... Uh, that, that fumble pickup was probably the most unorthodox thing, and it looked like so unnatural that I think I think this was badly programmed into Madden. And I want to see if they, if they notice this, because this looks so unnatural. Like, Mingo just did not look... He looked so clueless when trying to pick up the ball. So he gets popped right there. Bobby Wagner just popped him. Like, game over. GG. And that ball was out before the knee hit the ground. So that's good. But look at Mingo. Look at Mingo. He's, like, not even thinking about the scoop. He sees the ball, like, right there. He had to have seen the ball. More than enough time to scoop it. But what does he do? It looks so unnatural. He kind of just, like... Kind of like didn't even bother to like, like naturally go down and scoop it. He just kind of picks it up with both hands and just kind of just starts running. And like he had, he had, I may have had the edge like right there, but I was trying to juke him instead. I don't know if that was like the smartest play, but something I wanted to point out. It just looked like a not on an unnatural, spectacular fumble. place. I just I want I want smart plays. Do we get it? I think we got it. First down. Oh, we're going for it. Oh, no. We're going for that. It, it, it's literally right there. There we go. We don't need anything big. Like, just give me enough just, for first. Just move forward. Give me two. Just, just give me two yards. Linebackers in the game, so you gotta respect his. You gotta respect him. Oh, where's the pi? He had him all. He was all over him. Come on, man. Kick is up and good. Thirteen to three. We will take it. Got a nice ten point lead at home against Dallas. Uh, that's probably the first big run we're gonna see from Zeke today. That's a good that's a good play call though. They they fooled me on that one. Well, I mean, why wouldn't they? They got one of the best running backs in the league. 
Feeding Zeke. But did they get the first? I don't think he did. I think he's short. He's short! Let's go! Oh man, I don't like this setup. Baldwin's the out route. And I couldn't get the protection I needed, so fourth down. There you go. Good job, D. Nice coverage downfield. Don't let him get past that line and get him open. Don't let him be open past the line. That's all. You, that's all. Oh, Brandon Marshall! He caught it. Way to get up there. Oh, what a catch, Doug Baldwin. Touchdown, Seahawks. We're up big. We're killing it, man. All right, nice play by Cole Beasley downfield. Cowboy first down. And he's not anywhere close. Incomplete. Fourth down. Seven yards per attempt is all we kind of are looking for. Oh, right there, Ed Dixon. Big gain right there. Yards after catch matter. First down, Seattle Seahawks. Third and five. I think I see a wide open Ed Dixon again. He's just open. He really is. He's just open. 10 catches, 100 yards. They're giving up this many points to the Bears. Oh, there we go. There we go. Brandon Marshall downfield. Touchdown, Doug Baldwin. Team celebration. Let's see what you got. Are they all doing a cooking show or something? Oh, I think they're doing a cooking show. I'm going to trust my gut here and say they're going to run the ball here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Zeke's gone. Well, that happened. Nothing I can do about that one, guys. Uh, we sent the blitz, and it was to the wrong side. I came prepared done. for the run, but it was the blitz to the wrong side of the field. No good. No way they got okay. We'll go 27 to 11. Vanit, another first down for the Seattle Seahawks. Oh, I love it. Whoop! Man, you had the broken route already beaten. Just haul it in. Oh, okay. We'll take that instead. I mean, that's that better than taking a sack. But I don't. Even I know. can't. I can't just go and you know kick a field goal in this range. Ed Dixon is such a beast. He's so good. He's probably the best receiver on this team right now, by far. Twelve catches for one twenty-three. No touchdowns. Do what I had still. to do in that scenario. In the end zone, Brandon Marshall, touchdown Seahawks. What a throw. This is game over.
It, it, it's got to be. And, and they don't. They may go for it here, but I being down by 23 in the fourth it just doesn't seem go right for it. Me. They got the rip. They got the. I'll give them the balls aspect. They got that. Oh, false start. Pushed it back. I saw that. It's fourth and seven, though. So after the false start, it pushed him back five. Oh, he's wide open. There was nobody within a like a twenty foot radius of him. Yo, Bobby, why'd you back off? I mean, yeah, you, you knew he was gonna be open. Oh, get nailed, dude. Get out of here. Fourth and goal from the 12. And it's almost intercepted. Two players, two Seahawks had their hands on it. Anyway, guys, that is your ball game. Seattle Seahawks 34, Dallas Cowboys 11. We're going to be going into the stat line here in just a second here. Uh, we completely dominated from the word go. Just a great overall game by uh, the Seahawks offensively and defensively. We did everything right, and it showed. So we're going to go over the stats here. As uh, Dak Prescott, or we're going to go over to Russell Wilson first. 34 for 45, 352, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Hey, the short game has to work. The short game works for Seattle um, because of their offensive line and their woes up, up front. We got better protection by doing sh shorter throws, and we didn't take as many sacks this time around. So that's that's a good that's a positive. That's a good takeaway from this game. Uh, next, we're gonna go into the running department. Jarek J D McKissick, 14 carries for 57 yards. That's a you know that's what we want him to do. We don't need him to do too much. I mean he's not a he's not a all pro running back. But seeing that kind of puts a smile on my face because of the fact that, um, you know, he was effective when we used him. Uh, Russell Wilson scrambled for about 100 yards. Not surprised. He, he can do that. Uh, Mike Davis and Carson didn't really do a whole lot for me. Uh, but we did really good in the running department as well. Um, Ed Dixon, 14 catches for 137 yards. Uh, Doug Baldwin had two touchdowns. Brandon Marshall had a two uh, a touchdown. He had that big one deep down the field late in the game. Uh, Nick Vennett, um, he had a couple of receptions. He was doing pretty good. Jared Brown, pretty good. Um, overall, really good day for Ed Dixon though. Uh, eight catches for uh, or fourteen catches for one hundred and thirty seven yards. Just amazing. Um, so next, Dwayne Brown gave up a couple sacks. Not a big deal. Um, Sacks in our department. Barkevious Barkevious Mingo had uh, a couple sacks. No interceptions, but we did have a forced fumble, and I think it was caused by uh, Bobby Wagner, and it was recovered by Barkevious Mingo. So we got one takeaway. Uh, we got a couple of field goals to talk about here. Sebastian Janikowski went two for two on field goals, four for four on extra points. He made one from 45, and that was earlier in the game. Um... Michael Dixon, one good punt that would have just, I wish it would have just bounced back a little closer. If we would have kicked it a little less, we would have got a great punt off, but not not upset by that at all. Rashad Penny had a couple returns. Uh, passing, or deep, now looking at Dak, eh, English. Looking at the Cowboys, Dak Prescott, not impressive, but not great. Um, you know, not great, but not impressive. Uh, 17 for 24, 204 yards, uh, didn't turn the ball over, just your average run-of-the-mill day for Dak Prescott. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott had 16 carries for 128 yards and a touchdown, and Dak Prescott got one for minus seven. I think he scrambled on that, that's why they counted it as negative rushing yards, but Zeke did his thing. 
Receiving wise, uh, nothing really spectacular from anyone. Um, I guess Jeff Swaim, but not really that great. Alan Hearns, eh. Terrence Williams, eh. Cole Beasley, eh. Just a bunch of meh all around from the Cowboys uh, receiving core. Uh, Leo Collins gave up a couple sacks defensively for the, the Dallas Cowboys. They had three sacks overall. Taco Carlton or Charlton. Taco tu- Is it Taco Tuesday yet? Is it Taco Tuesday yet? No, it's not. But um, he had a sack. Eddie Pleasant had a sack. And Crawford and Collins uh, both shared a sack as well. Kicking for the Dallas Cowboys. Dan Bailey, always a pretty good kicker. Uh, he went one for one on field goals. Did not kick an extra point because the Cowboys went for two early or later on in the game. Uh, Chris Jones had three punts for 96 yards. Uh, return yards, Tavon Austin only got a couple of returns. And uh, that's pretty much it. So for this game, Seahawks 34, Dallas Cowboys 11. Uh, really solid showing by the Seahawks in this game. It was really impressive how the Seahawks took control of this game early and the 12th man kind of just took over. Uh, So that was impressive to me. And I look forward to building off of this win and maybe possibly, uh, you know, We'll see where this goes from the, the for the rest of the season. We still got a lot of pl- plenty of football left to be played. Uh, obviously, road games have been a struggle for us so far. But if we can pull off like eight to ten wins, I'll be happy. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like. If you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below for more content like this. Until then, my name is Sim with Vengeance. Peace out.